So, now we start the creation of our ball. In this video, we'll create the ball variables like the x and y position. To do this, we'll learn how we can use the data segment on assembly language to store the variables used in our programs. Then, we'll learn how we can access these variables from the procedures that we create inside the code segment. So, we start, as always, by running our program. Let's open the code. Edit with Notepad. Let's put here on the right. So you can see, easily close this. And now, let's go to Dogebox and run our program. So we start by doing the masm thing. masm slash a pong dot asm my column escape link pong and then we run and a pixel appears on the screen so in this lesson we'll be taking these hard coded numbers on the x and y position and put here the ball x and y positions to create the ball variables we need first to define them to define variables we go in this segment the data segment segment that store data and we define them here. Ball x for the variable name, dw for the type, and then for the value we can copy this. Now for the vertical position we do the same. Ball y, dw, and then 0ah. Let's comment this code, exposition, exposition, column, of the ball. Here is the Y position, the line of the ball. Now we go down here and change the arc code numbers to the respective variables. So ball X and ball Y. So there's one more thing that I need to explain. That is the type of the variables. Why is it DW? DW stands for Define Word. It's capable of storing 16 bits of information. We're using this because down here we're using 16 bits registers, like this CX that contains the 8 bits of the CH register and 8 bits of the CL register. If up here we're using DB, Define Byte, that can only store 8 bits of information, we then need to change the 16 bits register, the CX, to 8 bits register, like CL or CH. So let's bring back the previous CX and the define word type so we can continue. Now, if we run again our program, we should see. Let's go masm slash a pong dot asm link pong pong and you should see that the pixel is still there but is not in the correct position. This happens because we're not referencing the data segment where our variables are on the code segment. So when you're using the variables on our main procedure, we're just using random trash because the code segment don't know that those variables exist. So, to tell assembly where our variables are, we need first to define clearly all the segments of our program. So, let's say to the program to assume that our code segment, CS, is called code. The data segment, DS, is called data. The stack segment, CS, is called stack. Let's comment this. Assume as code data and stack segments the respective <laughs> registers.
after this uh, we need to push to the stack with the common push the data segments register so push to the stack the ds the ds segment let's clean the ax register by subtracting the register by itself with the sub command clean the ax register and then we push ax to the stack now to end this we first move to ax the contents of data segment move ax data so um, save on the ax register the data content the content of the data segment and then we conclude by saving on the DS segment the contents of AX. Save on the D on the data segment DS segment the contents of AX. By doing this, we're taking all the data present in AX. So our ball variables and put it on the data segment now we need to release the the stack segments the items we have uh, put there so pop ax to release the top item of the stack so release release the top item of the stack from the stack to the AX register. It's just a good practice thing. If you don't do this, I guess the game won't crash. But it's just good practice. So let's go back to our program. Let's run our program in Dodgebox. Uh, our code is done now. So let's go with masm slash a pong dot asm link pong and we can see that the pixel is now on the right position and now we're using the ball position variables to draw so in the next video we'll create a procedure to draw the ball and give it a reasonable size